All right, all right, all right. We've got a little bit of a change of scenery this week, people. They got me in the JW Marriott, Minneapolis, Minnesota, in the middle of a polar vortex. It just rips right through you, right into the bone. I'm looking at Midwest polar Arctic, tundric, Antarctic conditions. It was painfully cold. I went outside for five minutes. Wild, okay? It's been a long time since I've been in the Midwest. During the winter, it is negative 23 degrees. Feels like negative 51. Yes, that is correct. Feels like negative 51. It's only supposed to get worse. Everything was closing early. Everything is being canceled. Everything's shutting down. Stay inside. Like the University of Minnesota closed their campus two days in a row, I think, for the first time in 27 years. Okay, so as always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I mean, we have some exciting stuff going on. 2019 has been a really wild year so far. Thankfully, the government shutdown has been canceled temporarily. And it's, I hope these people get paid. Oh God, makes me very nervous. But uh, yeah, again, thank you so much for coming back and let's get into it, shall we? Update. If you haven't seen Fire <laughs> on Netflix, you haven't, you've been living under a rock and you also haven't been living because this is the biggest exposing of anything in this generation's this is this is the watergate of social media current influencers and like our millennials that's non-political i don't even know how to explain it that i welcome this kind of examination because people have got to know whether or not their president's a crook well i'm not a crook i've earned everything i've got Watching Fire on Netflix, I was sitting in bed. I was sitting right over there, right over there. I was sweating like the late, great Whitney Houston. I was, it was nerve wracking. I was shook. It gave me pure and utter anxiety. This festival was a bigger sham than this current presidential administration, okay? It was fraud. It was all fraudulent. And I'm not surprised. I can look at this Billy McFarlane guy and just see a wise guy. I can see a crook. I can see a wolf in sheep's clothing. I am not surprised by any of this. He just looks distrustful. And the fact that so many people bought this pipe dream that he was selling, shame on all of you, okay? And this is why this country is in perpetual debt. Because of people fronting and flexing like Billy McFarlane, selling people pipe dreams and he, he, he's all liquid, okay? He's selling people a Bugatti dream and he's over here in a Pontiac. All right, let's get into Troy's titillating topics. We have five and I'm sticking to five, okay? I got my top five. The Real Housewives of New York season 11 trailer. Life is not a cabaret. You should apologize. You're the only one that wants to talk all That's the time. Bullshit. You are insufferable. Don't touch those f***ing ladders. Sorry. Don't tell me what to say. I'll what say whatever I f***ing want. Do you hear me out now, bitch? It's premiering on March 6th. I have nothing left to say. It's premiering on my birthday. And Andy Cohen, all the cast of The Real Housewives of New York, and Bravo couldn't be giving me a better birthday present for my 25th birthday. Find the lie. <laughs> so stick out for this because I'm gonna be on it like white on rice. Celebrity Big Brother. We've got Kato Kalen from the OJ Simpson trials. We've got Candy Burris, Tucker. We've got Tamar Braxton. We've got Dina Lohan. We've got Anthony Scaramucci. I'm watching Celebrity Big Brother. I might audition for Celebrity Big Brother. I'm not a celebrity, but I might audition for the regular Big Brother because this show is crazy. Okay. No, seriously, my friend told me this line that Tamar said to Kato Kalen the other day. And Tamar Braxton is this funny, quick-witted, just person in all of, you know, she's got a great singing career, she's got a great voice, but she's just reality television gold. She really is made for reality television. She's just got that personality for it. And she's wild. But she said to Kato Kalen, and anyone that remembers and knows, Kato Kalen was uh, kind of like the pool boy that was living in the guest house on OJ Simpson and Nicole Brown Simpson's house. 
um, or maybe not even at their house, because I think at that point Nicole was, yeah, just OJ's house, because Nicole was already in the middle of trying to separate from him. I, I can't remember all the details. I gotta finish this Marsha Clark book, okay? I've been reading it for three and a half years. But anyway, he was living with OJ at the guest house on his property. He was trying to be like a, a, a struggling actor. Anyway, Tamar and him are getting into it on Celebrity Big Brother, and she says, and I quote, You think you had trouble with OJ? You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> that is wild to me, because he had a big... Kato Kalin played a really big role in the trial of OJ Simpson and all of that stuff, so I just think that she's wild for saying that. Andy Cohen's baby shower was lit. Go now, you f***ing bitches. Go. Get up on a f***ing table and dance for Andy now. It was just capital W-Y-L-D, wild. All right, we have current California Senator of the Democratic Party. Kamala Harris announced her running for presidential office for the 2020 election. And this is monumental, this is great, this is perfect. I, I don't have anything to say. I mean, we, it, it's refreshing. And guess what? We're with her, we're standing by her. I'm gonna see who else is running on the Democratic Party. I'm not just gonna pick her just because she is an African-American female, but I know that I do stand by a lot of things that she stands for. And I think that it's, she could bring a refreshing amount of new policy come 2020. So let's see what it's the tea. All right, and my last titillating topic, it's kind of a sad one. It's star of Empire, Jussie Smollett, being attacked when he landed in Chicago last week. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Apparently this was premeditated. Some people sent some shady ransom style notes to his um, residency. And this is just wild to me. They were clear supporters of MAGA. They were yelling racial and homosexual obscenities towards him. It's going to be deemed as a hate crime. And thoughts and prayers out to Jesse Smalley. He is a really huge member of two very, very important communities. Three, really. The black community, the LGBTQ community, and the black LGBTQ community. Like, he represents a lot. He's an incredible artist, incredible actor. So, lots and lots of love and light his way. Okay, shows to look out for. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is going to be premiering February 12th, Tuesday, um, on Bravo. And I think that this is the most anticipated season premiere of Beverly Hills history, if not of entire Housewives franchise history. That is a lie. It's not a f***ing lie, Kim. Okay. I'm done. I kind of feel like the two of you are in cahoots. You're a f***ing liar. Goodbye, Kyle. You're a little snake. Let's figure out who the mean girl really is. That being said, I have some very, very exciting breaking news alert update. T! Alert! 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 Effective immediately, I will be moving officially over to FabFitFun's YouTube channel, and I will be recapping The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills every single week for this new season, and I could not be more excited. This is an amazing opportunity to partner up with FabFitFun, who has been at the forefront of beauty, lifestyle, and social trends for many, many years now. And this is just going to be a huge platform for me to be able to talk about something that I'm so passionate about. They also partner with a lot of uh, social influencers, celebrities, and reality television personalities right now as well. So this is an incredible door opening for me uh, with being able to work with FabFitFun and to be able to partner up with them on the uh, launch of this new recap for the current season or the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Reality television, with a particular emphasis on Bravo, has been a guilty obsession of mine for a decade now, so being able to share my thoughts and opinions and share my personality on a bigger platform, on a bigger stage, about The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, especially with how big this season is going to be, is it's really just a major move for me, and I could not be more grateful and excited for this opportunity and chance to do this. I'm gonna also now move into my shout outs and my shout outs this week are gonna be a little bit more thankful and gratitude based. So they're kind of long, they're a little emotional and I just hope that everyone will be able to stick it out through the end and um, 
finish this video. It's going a little bit longer than anticipated, but anyone knows me knows I um, have never been one to cut to the chase. I want to give a big thank you to my dear friend M. Schmidt for supporting me from the very beginning, for uh, being one of the first people to kind of motivate me into launching onto YouTube in the first place. I hope that your little star continues to make you proud. Love you so much, Mama. To Cal, my absolute best friend and probably my biggest fan, thank you for always laughing at me on YouTube. Thank you for always laughing at me in real life. And thank you for always texting me after a new video goes up, even though you know what the video was about because you were with me during the editing of it, but you still tell me how much you loved it, how much this one's your new favorite, and thank you so much for always supporting me. I love you, Cal. Thank you to Andrea and Courtney, the T-Triangle, for um, always supporting me in everything I do, not just on YouTube, but uh, for always giving me your honest, true, heartfelt opinion. Thank you so much, and I hope that I'll continue to um, have your guys' support. I can support you guys, and thank you very much. Thank you to Tasha Ball for which this opportunity would not even be possible um, without. Tasha is a dear friend of mine and she is really putting a lot of, she's putting a lot of stock in me for this. Um, let me just tell you, so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to work with you and the FabFitFun team. I am so excited. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very nervous, but I'm more excited than anything. I am going to make you proud. I vow to make the editor's jobs every single week as easy as possible. And more importantly, I vow to get you on time submissions of video every single week. I pinky promise. Sis, this is a pinky. Um, let's do it, sis. Like 2019, we're making it our Ariana year. Lastly, and I'm actually tearing up talking about this one and thinking about this one. Um, thank you very much to my dear, dear friend, Carrie Brunt who I'm actually speechless about, that's a lie. Anyone that knows me knows I'm not speechless about anything, but um, thank you very much to Carrie, who I would literally be nothing without, and I literally give you shit sometimes every week, and you turn it into, I don't know what the opposite of shit is, but that's what you turn it into, and I could not be more thankful for you for agreeing to take on the editing, the video editing, the videography on of um, the Reading Room Thursday and True Tea with Troy and everything. And I know that this is a little emotional. I'm not winning an Oscar by any means, people, but um, this is someone who literally is the most patient, selfless, and creative person I know. So thank you so much, Carrie, every week for allowing me to go back and edit when I'm obscenely past my deadline. and to let me nitpick every single thing and you never complain, you never push back and I am literally nothing without you. Thank you so much and this is an opportunity that I wouldn't have gotten if you wouldn't have agreed to take on this part of my YouTube channel for me. So I can't begin to thank you enough. Uh, lastly, part two. Thank you to everyone who's been watching from the very beginning, even back in the day on my Snapchat days um, when I would do this every single week, which was about a year ago today. Um, to be quite frank. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being there from the beginning to help motivate me to even launch onto YouTube. Thank you to everyone who has shared, subscribed, and liked every single week or every single time I post. I know it's very irregular. And I literally, there is not a ton of you. I'm not out here like sitting here like a Patrick Star or a, you know, a Manny MUA or any of these big people that have this huge following. But the ones of you that do watch every single week, like thank you so much. And um, I'm excited to move forward on a bigger platform and I hope you follow me over to FabFitFun to watch me recap The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills now. So thank you all so much. This is obviously not the end nor the cancellation of True Tea with Troy of The Reading Room Thursday. This is just a pause for the cause, okay? And so this has been, I don't know what this has been. This has been just a, a breaking news special alert update with me and i will see you all very very soon and over and out stay tuned bye <sighs> i'm crying it's a little emotional